Sup Cyberspace, it is Zero from the Ranger Eye Club, here for another pouch dump for all you pouch boys and pouch girls out there. Today, I am rocking the STWMN, or Superior Threadworks, Mini Cordura Woodland Camo Pouch. Mini as in it's 3x5, but this is a thick little chonker. So my pouch is a little customized, I've got some tilt from the throw up cult on the back, and then NOSUSA.com makes these sweet micarta beads. It's a real interesting design. So patch wise, because I dig pirates and knives, I got the Pete's Pirate Life I Love Knives patch. How about the Spiritualist System All Seeing Eye, Will Malune's Marauder patch, slamming the F5 key waiting for the next plague drop, rep your friends with Brian and his Pacific Northwest Toast Company, and uh, some Swan knockoff Ranger Eyes. Went for a little orange and black theme today. Like I said, my pouch is uh, customized a little bit. I've got Shy Guy hanging out here in my little added patch panel in the middle. He's from Toxic Patch Co. So let's start with the knife. Uh, are you surprised I'm rocking a Coke Tools knife with a plague bead? You shouldn't be. I'm digging this bronze anno, but I don't know if it really matches Natalie. Uh, Natalie is a Coach Tools gnat with rich light micarta scales. Look at those layers of paper that this cool patina machine is made out of. Uh, also check out the sweet laser engraving, the keystone skull for the PA fam. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, yeah, I really, I dig a little tiny knife like this for EDC. It fits in just about any pocket, even though I'm carrying in a pouch right now. But, you know, I dig it. Rep your friends, Pacific Northwest Toast Company. Today's fidget toy is made out of micarta stab wood, black linen with a little copper lining. Uh, man, do I love spinning these things. I could just sit here all day and just kind of back and forth and one way and the other, knock the bead off the side of it, make fun noises. It's just like a cool thing to put in your hands and play with and, you know, channel your anxiety into. Think about the texture and look into the Whatever. I've explained my worry totems to you. Speaking of uh, pointless worry totems, this is a cool little micarta suba that's made by NOS USA as well. Um, it's like a little katana hilt guard, only tiny and made out of micarta. Dig it. Lennon micarta's neat. Uh, cover your kid's ears because here comes my flying fuck. This one's made out of Damasis Makume. Uh, it's made by the real Chad Zust of uh, Vandal LLC. I got a little too excited when I uh, bid on this auction, when I saw these sweet layers of metal. Uh, this is just like the coolest bottle opener. When you hand somebody this, they know they need to give it back to you, because you don't just give a flying fuck. Um, new flashlight, it's tiny, but I've really been digging this Nightcore uh, Tiki. It's got a OEG EDC little 3D printed ghost bead on it. I kind of think it looks like a granite tombstone. Quick button press, 300 lumen. Uh, double tap it to go through the modes. Triple tap it. Maybe. And uh, it goes into glow in the dark mode. Which, you know me and glow in the dark stuff. Um, been carrying a pen again, too. This is a Big Eye Design mini EDC pen. Give it a little turn, and uh, it's just big enough to get into your hand, right? Sign a check, put a tip on there, because everybody needs a tip when you're signing stuff. You know, I started uh, trying real hard not to bite my nails, and uh, carrying nail clippers is the absolute best way to not do it. Uh, three Swords Beauty, man, I didn't know that getting good, cheap nail clippers would make such a big difference, but boy, boy does it ever. And to round off this pocket trash collection, I've got a Coke Tools 3D printed spray can. Why? Because my friend made it and gave it to me, and I dig it. So yeah. Shy guy ready to put up some bombs out here. So yeah, that is my pouch dump from the Pocket Trash Gang. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna tag some people in the comments and get the next ones rolling, friends. Have a good one. There was one more thing that I wanted to address that I forgot about. A lot of people have been asking me if I really EDC a pouch, and the answer is yes. Uh, when I started wearing cargo pants again, because I always wear cut off cargo pants in the summertime, 
the slip pockets were really messing me up and having all my pocket junk fall out. So I started using this uh, thinner but bigger Maxpedition pouch at first, and, and I mean, it's a lot thicker than this guy, but it's it's smaller than this one by comparison. Uh, it's just become my patch panel for other Rangers and patches. But anyhow, I, I do. I really just throw this guy into my cargo pocket, and I think that it's it's definitely the way to go. And when you're already, you know, putting more than, you know, the fair share of pocket junk into your pockets anyhow, and you, you gotta put your, your pouch in a pouch, and that pouch has gotta go into your pants. And if you're gonna pouch your pouch in a pouch with your pants, I mean, I just think it, pouchception, that's the way you gotta go. Alright, that's all I gotta say. See ya.